Hi, this is Matt with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we'll be showing you how to repair your appliance. Remember, anytime you work on an appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. In this video, we're going to show you how to change out the Whirlpool refrigerator, dispenser arm strain relief. It's going to be a very easy repair and it's only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can click on the link below or get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. When you open up the package, you're going to get the new dispenser arm strain relief. The dispenser arm strain relief is located in between the two dispenser arms. The main reason to be changing it out is if it's lost or damaged. In order to get to the part, we have to take the dispenser apart. First thing we're going to do is take off the trim. We're going to use a small putty knife to get underneath it at the bottom. Just be very careful you don't scratch the paint. Once you have the putty knife underneath, you can just twist it and it should pop free. If it's tight, you can press down in the corner of the trim right here to help take some of the tension off the tab. Once you have this side done, do the other side. Once you have both sides released, we can lift the trim up and off the frame, and then we can unplug the wiring harness. To release the wiring harness, we're going to reach in and with a small flathead screwdriver and just lift up on the locking tab. Once you have the locking tab released, you can separate the two halves of the wiring harness and pull the control panel off and set it aside. Next we're going to remove this frame assembly. It's held in by two screws. We're going to use our quarter inch nut driver to take them out. Once you have the screws out, we're going to pull the bottom out a little bit and then pull the top out from these tabs on the top. Once you have it free, we're going to swing it out of the way then we can use the quarter inch nut driver to loosen up the screw that holds in the dispenser arm strain relief. Once you have the screw loose, the strain relief should just fall out or you can tap it and it should fall out pretty easily. Once you have it out, you can pull it out of the dispenser. Here's the old dispenser arm strain relief next to the new one. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can get it at appliancepartspros.com. To put the new dispenser arm strain relief in, we're just going to lift it up and slide it underneath the screw and then push it all the way up so it's on the mounting tab on the lower half. And then you're going to want to hold it so it doesn't fall off. And we can use the quarter inch nut driver to tighten the screw down. Once you have the screw tightened down, we can grab the bracket and rotate it around. We're going to line up the upper half into the little tabs right here. Once you have it in place, you can lift it up, get it into position, and we can use the quarter inch nut driver to put the screws in. Then we can put the control panel back on. We're just going to lift it up into place and reconnect the wiring harness. All you have to do is grab each end of the wiring harness and plug it together. Make sure it goes all the way together and locks and you get a good connection. Then we can lift it up into place and hook it on the top. Once you have the top in, we can carefully snap the bottom in. All you have to do is press in on each side. Once you have it installed, we can plug the refrigerator back in and make sure it starts to cool. Thanks for joining us for another successful repair brought to you by appliancepartspros.com. Check out our other repair videos on our site, Facebook, and YouTube.